had a motorcycle accident that was freakishly horrific. And my left leg took the brunt of the impact as I slid into the guardrail. I almost bled out. Luckily, someone was there to help me. I was airlifted to Westchester Medical Center. I was told that I, my left leg had been amputated just below the knee. It was a pretty traumatic experience, and Westchester Medical was able to save my life. So I owe them everything. You know, thanks to them, I got to see my son again. I was eight months pregnant, and I got a pain in my chest. My daughter helped me call 911, and they told me they were gonna airlift me to Westchester Medical Center. They told me I had an aortic dissection that was at risk of bursting, and they told my husband that we're not totally sure we could save the baby. The doctors spoke to the OB team and they worked together to deliver Olivia and finish up with the open heart surgery. I want to get back to being a mom, just being together again. I was playing basketball with my dad and my two brothers. I collapsed on the court. I was unconscious and a little blue in the face. I was no longer breathing. It turned out I had a cardiac arrest. The right side of my heart, it's not able to pump blood the same way that a normal heart would. They decided that it would be best for me to go to Westchester Medical Center because that they were more equipped to deal with situations like mine. I went back to finish my college degree. I did really, really well in school, and I plan on going to graduate school in the fall. I wouldn't be able to do that without the care of the doctors and the nurses from Westchester Medical Center. I was completely paralyzed on my right side and had no speech. I was taken to Westchester Medical Center. I was in the OR approximately 16 minutes. So many events fell into place, and I'm lucky to be here. I got this clot evacuated in three hours and 20 minutes from the time my stroke happened. I am thankful to all of the people involved in this for giving me my life and my profession back to me. Dr. Steeple, I owe you my life and the nurses and everyone, your care was exemplary. After Sean got home from school, he took his dirt bike across the field, and on his return, he was struck by a car. Sean was rushed to St. Francis Hospital, where he was stabilized and then sent directly to Westchester Medical Center where he got advanced care. Sean had suffered from a traumatic brain injury along with two breaks in his leg and also a fracture in his neck. You know, it's very difficult to watch your child and not have any control over it and not be able to, to help him at all. They have all these people there helping the loved ones deal with this. Sean's alive because Westchester Medical Center was there. We still go to see Dr. Mohan every six months, just kind of a follow-up. And every time I see him, I want to cry because he just, he saved our boy. Vital care isn't just about saving lives. It's about lives worth living. That's what makes us so vital throughout the Hudson Valley. Westchester Medical Center.